This demonstration will show you how to create flawless citations for your MLA Works Cited page or APA reference list. Many library databases now create a citation for you. Unfortunately, however, oftentimes there are mistakes. Each element may be there, but there may be mistakes in capitalization or italics, for example. The reference list or work cited page is part of your research paper. You will most probably be graded on those citations. Following these steps and using our citation guide will ensure that your citations are correct. I will be demonstrating with an APA citation for a journal article from one of our library databases using Microsoft Word. But you could easily use these very same steps to check your citations for other types of sources in either APA or MLA and using other word processing programs. Just repeat these steps that I outline and substitute the correct form from our style guides. If you don't have the database's citation, please view our two-minute video on finding a specific article from a citation to get you back to your database. Once in the database, find your exact article. Once you're there, look for a link or tool icon that's marked Cite, Cite Now, Citing Tool. Each database providing this feature does so just a little differently. So make sure that you read the screen carefully so that you can find the citation tool in your database. In Academic Search, it's in the toolbar on the right. Click on the word Cite. A window will now open in the middle of your page. Scroll down to your preferred style. Select and copy the text of the entire citation. Paste that citation into your reference list or works cited document without any formatting whatsoever if possible. Select the entire citation again. Now you want to choose Times New Roman 12 point for your font. If you're using Word, open up the paragraph section. Set both the before and after spacing to zero point and choose double spacing from the pull down menu. Select hanging from the special indentation pull down menu and click OK. Your formatting is now done for that citation. Now it's time to check each element of the database's citation against our citation guide. Click on Cite Your Sources under Research and Find in the middle of our home page. Select APA or MLA according to your professor's request. The first step is to determine what type of source you have. Is it a book? If so, is it a print book or an electronic book? If you have an online source, is it from one of our library databases or did you find it through Google on the free web? Whatever type of source you have, click on that link in order to access the correct section. We are working with an article from a library database, so I will click on online sources from subscription databases. Once you're in the correct section, please take the time to scroll down the page and read through all the options available so that you can choose the one that's closest to your own source. The article I have chosen is a journal article with one author. If you have more than one author, you would follow the guidelines for how to cite more than one. Once you've found the correct citation, copy the entire citation and paste it directly under the database's citation that you've already formatted. Start with the author's name. APA format shows the author's last name first, comma, then first and or middle initials. The publication date of the article in parentheses follows the author's name. Now the title of the article Observe the correct format. 
Notice only the first word of the title should be capitalized. If you look at the databases citation, they've capitalized every word. Make all necessary corrections. Remember that all proper nouns, like someone's name or a geographic place, should remain capitalized. Next is the title of the journal in which the article is published. APA journal titles appear in italics. Select the text and italicize. The volume number and issue number of the journal along with the exact page numbers are next. Italicize the volume number. Remember that every single punctuation mark matters. Make sure to follow every comma, every period, etc. Lastly, you'll notice the library citation ends with the phrase retrieved from Academic Search Complete Database. APA requires one of two designations, either the DOI, which if available is given by the database, or the phrase retrieved from followed by the database name. Continue on with each citation you have. Once again, creating citations is not easy. Following these steps and comparing your citation against our style guide will ensure that your reference list or works cited page is done correctly. That's how you create a flawless citation.